Welcome to our AirFit Pack 3 review. There's a lot of good gym slash office backpacks and duffels out there. Some of which are made by Air, many of which are made by Air. We're gonna take apart the Air Fit Pack 3 and show you everything that you need to know so you can make a decision on your dream office slash gym backpack. What function do you serve? And like I said, it's really an office slash gym pack. You've got the gym component, which is ventilated shoe compartment, and you got the duffel style main opening, which is ideal for like your gym clothes. And we got the second compartment, which is the tech area. For those who don't know, Air's specialty is using Cordura Ballistic Nylon, a 1680 ballistic nylon, which is smooth to the touch, yet also rough and durable. But then we got like the style, like it's kind of got like this like little belly thing going on, how it like goes in like this V shape. This guy needs to hit the gym. Because it's a gym bag. Ah! Air is also known for having really well padded, super cushiony shoulder straps. And all this is gonna come at a price tag of around 145 US dollars, but it's a bit pricey. Is it worth it? Okay, let's talk about the front of the Air Fit Pack 3. Some quick bullet points. Front aesthetic and the materials. The YKK PU coated zip that slashes down the middle. The actual duffel compartment. What I refer to as the dirty towel holder and the shoe compartment. Let's start with the materials. It's like I said, we're using 1680 Cordura Ballistic Nylon and it gives it a really nice smooth feel. And what I like about this is it's durable and kind of like badass. So it's like, you know, Jimmy, you know, if you go to the gym, you want to look like a badass. Moving on to the zipper, we got a big old chunky YKK zip. Air zips are cool in some ways because they are lockable. You go ahead and just pop one zip into the other and then they sort of like stick together. Sort of a theft deterrent system. This bad boy is PU coated, which means it's waterproof, which means that your gear inside this compartment will be protected from rain. But it does take a little bit of to kind of get open, okay? That PU coating makes it a little stickier, something to keep in mind. And one thing I love about this zipper is they give you this little pull tab right here. But with this pull tab, there and then smooth sailing. Cool runnings, man. Now in the actual main compartment, I actually forgot to mention, this is an 18 liter backpack. 18.7 liters to be specific. But that's where this thing's kind of interesting because I'm gonna say it's a pretty tight 18 liters, especially if you're using the shoe compartment. So you can see with the shoes actually in the shoe compartment, which we'll move to in a second, take up a lot of space, right? You probably lost half of the literage, half of the capacity to store your stuff. So take the shoes out. And you can see this excess material. You can just go ahead and fold it down and wow, a lot more space. Inside this duffel compartment, there's no additional organization excluding this one pocket right here, which I refer to as like the dirty towel pocket. Why? Because you're at the gym, okay? You take a cold shower before your day at work. You got your dirty towel, you wanna put it somewhere. This sort of keeps it away from your other clothes. Same thing with like just your gym clothes in general. Go ahead and throw them there, pop them in, clothes, and they're kinda out of sight, out of mind. My name is Aaron, the guy behind the camera is Tab. When our powers combine, we make Nomads Nation, where we do video reviews, of things that go into other things. It's a lot cooler than it sounds, I promise. Now the size of the shoe compartment is very important because here we have the Air Fit Pack 3 and here we have the larger cousin, thanks for that tab, which is the Air Duffel Pack 3. And you can see Air Duffel Pack is a bit bigger. It's about 22 liters, I think, as opposed to this 18.7 liters. But as you can see right here, when I've got shoes in the main compartment, this thing is huge, man. There's a lot more space in the main duffel. That's gonna be a great thing or a terrible thing depending on your specific needs. If you need more space, like you got a lot of gym gear, think like weight belts, like those little stretchy workout things. You got like sweatbands, gloves, I'm talking all that cool gym gear. This might be a better fit for you. And we'll put a link in the description to our full review for the Air Duffel Pack 3. And we'll bring it up probably a few more times in this review as well. But if you're more of a gym minimalist, kind of like myself, like I go to the gym, I wake up early in the morning, um, I usually don't bring a pair of extra shoes. I just have my towel, a change of clothes, that's it. If that's more your style, then this might be a better fix. I don't need all that extra space. Okay, so with the shoe compartment, a few more thoughts. Let's use this to transition. Middle of the pack, some bullet points. Got the dual water bottle holders, top handle, top sunglasses compartment, the main compartment with side number one, and side number two, which is the tech compartment. 
and the shoe compartment. Speaking of which, let's talk about it. The shoe compartment is a real nice, easy, lightning fast zip sort of situation. And you can pop your shoes right in there. This shoe compartment fits up to a men's size 13 shoes. And one thing that's awesome about the shoe compartment is it is ventilated. You got these one, two, three holes right there. One thing to note too, is that with that flat shoe compartment, the bag actually has a tendency to stand up by itself, especially when there are shoes in it to help give it a little bit extra structure and support. Moving on, we got the dual water bottle holders. These are some chunky ass water bottle holders, as you would expect from a gym pack because you're working out, water's important, gotta stay hydrated. On the top here, we have a little top pocket, different sort of a YKK zip, still super smooth opening. Big fan of this pocket because of the materials that is used. This is like a micro fleece or like a scratch free fiber. It's just super soft. And what I love is that air has utilized a little bit of extra padding in these pockets as of recent. And it's a pretty deep pocket too. It actually runs like here, here, and here. So you can fit a bunch of stuff in there. This backpack only has one quick access like grab handle. It's this guy right here. It's a pretty big guy. Basic material, sort of just like basic like seat belt webbing type material. A little bit of padding for extra grip. Um, it's comfortable to hold. I found myself carrying it like this a few times. Hey, real fast, if you're still watching this video and you're enjoying it, can you just hit the like button for us? It lets us know that we're doing a good job and that we know to make similar videos like this. On to the second compartment, the tech compartment. So we went over the gym section, that's the duffel compartment. Tech compartment, as you might guess, is for all your tech stuff. First up, one thing to note is that this only opens up like halfway. It's like a half opener, which is good in some ways because these zippers then don't go down further into the water bottle holders, but it's bad because it does sort of limit your access to get inside that main compartment. It's pretty dark down there. Hello! On the bottom of this section, we got two elastic pockets right here and two pen pockets. Good spot for a notebook, maybe a Bluetooth mouse, a laptop charger. On the top here, we have a mesh pocket. Tab, do I like mesh or what? Dude, you are a mesh nerd. Mesh nerd. Um, and the mesh nerd likes this mesh. I like mesh that is silky and has a nice elasticity to it. And this checks both those boxes. Now on the other side, we have a padded and suspended laptop compartment. I got a 14 inch laptop in here, but it is advertised to hold up to a 16 inch laptop. The padding is really nice. It's got a nice softness to it. It feels thick. And then below that, we have a smaller pocket right here. Good for a larger notebook. Might be good for a tablet, depending on the size tablet. Overall, this compartment has a nice amount of organization, but they're at limited access. It might, it might annoy some. Just throwing that out there. Okay, last part, the back of the pack. Bullet points, comfy shoulder straps, adjustable slash removable sternum strap, ventilated back panel, luggage pass-through holder. All right, first up, let's talk about the shoulder straps. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a big fan of Air's comfort. See how chunky these things are? Like how well cushioned they are? And just look at how deep I can get my fingers in there. Look at like the padding in there. Like really minimalist design on these shoulder straps. Like a lot of backpack companies have like external lash points and like designs and all this shit. Nothing, just the core durability nylon. Until we get below right here where you have the sternum strap. Sternum straps are great for distributing the weight of your pack. It takes a little bit of weight off your back and puts it more towards the front. I'm a huge sternum strap advocate. And the cool thing about this sternum strap is it is adjustable and or removable. So to move it up and down, it takes like a little bit, it takes some finagling. You gotta push down. Ugh. Next up, we have the back panels. The awesomeness that I love about these shoulder straps in terms of the comfort, like that air mattress experience extends to these back panels as well. Similar ventilation, you can see right here. Pad one, pad two, cave. You get a nice cool drift of breeze coming through your back, just keeping you nice and ventilated. It's a very nice touch. And again, just like it's really comfortable. And finally, if you are taking this on a trip, maybe a weekend trip, and you are a luggage person, you got your luggage, you have a luggage pass-through holder right here, slide it on down, good to go. And one last note on the shoulder strap is on the bottom, we have a dangle stopper. Cause I love dangle stoppers because I hate dangle because without the dangle stopper, the dangle is going to be flying all over the place like a fucking horse whip. But then you say, stop it horse whip. And you slide that down and the horse whip is now less whippy. So you're still here. It's a good sign. You're like, dude, I think this is for me, but I wish that I could hear some overall pros and cons. You got it. Pro number one is it's a super niche pack that is perfect for one use case scenario. If you, 
you go to the gym and then you go to the office, you're looking for a pack that can do both, that doesn't need to carry a lot of stuff, you're kind of a minimalist, then Air made a backpack that's perfect for your lifestyle. Pro number two is I'm just a huge fan of Air's comfort in general. Super comfortable shoulder straps, super comfortable and ventilated back panel. It's a comfy experience. And pro number three, I know it's a small thing, but it's really not this little zipper pull because you're gonna use it every freaking day and it's there and it helps you open easy and it's just the little things that make the biggest difference sometimes. But I got some cons, let's talk about the cons. Con number one is the main compartment is kind of difficult to get into, especially at that bottom section. Con number two is I kind of think it just looks like kind of like a, like a sack. I'm not saying like a sack, but like a potato sack, right? I, I don't think it's the sexiest air product on the market. And con number three for me is that while the main duffel compartment is PU coded, which I'm cool with, the tech compartment is not PU coded. And that's where your tech stuff is. And that's where I want the water the least. I can deal with my clothes getting wet in the rain, not so much my laptop getting wet in the rain. So now we're at a section called, is this pack for you? And if it is for you, you probably already know. And if that's the case, and you're gonna make a purchase and you're like, dude, this is my bag. I cannot wait to get one. Then we do ask that you make your purchase using the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price. And it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. But some of y'all might be like, I'm just not convinced. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, dude, I love the air style, I love the air aesthetic. This is the pack for me. I just wish that it was a bit bigger. This is a no brainer. Just get the air duffel pack three. It's kind of like the same thing and it's just bigger. And that's an easy one. And if that sounds like you and you want to check out the full review, we've got one linked to that full review in the description. This also might not be the pack for you if you're thinking to yourself, dude, Actually, like, I go to the gym sometimes, but I'm looking for a great tech slash everyday carry first and a gym backpack sort of second. I think this one's gym first, everyday carry slash tech second. If you're looking for the opposite, we've got the perfect pack for you. It's called a Modern Dayfarer Backpack. And if you're interested in that pack, take a look at the description, link to the full review down there. And finally, you also might be thinking to yourself, dude, I need a gym backpack, but this is just too urban for me. Is there something more like CrossFit I'm a gym person and this bag reflects my lifestyle. There is, this is not it. You will want to check the review of, I actually have two King Kong backpacks. Take a look at the review for our King Kong reviews. Uh, they're more like gym sort of lifestyle. And I think they might be a little bit more up your alley. If you're still here, it probably means that you found this video useful. So if that's the case, we would be very appreciative if you could just hit the like button. Because hitting the like button tells the YouTube robots that our content is good. And the YouTube robots kind of run the YouTube universe and we live to serve them. And it would just mean a lot to us if you could just hit that like button. Also, if you dig backpack reviews and gear and gym stuff and tech stuff and all that, we cover it all, um, definitely hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified anytime we release a new review. Also, do you own a different gym pack? Do you got a better gym pack than this? Do you own the Air Fit Pack 3 or the 2 or the 1? Maybe there's a 0. We don't know, but tell us your experience with any backpack, gym backpack, any backpack in the world you might have. We want to hear your thoughts below. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much, and we will see you next time.